Yes, massive welcome back to another tribute to the greats. And today we want to pay a tribute to another icon, another legend, Leslie Tucker, better known as Junior Tucker. Junior Tucker, born 1966 in Trenchtown, Kingston, Jamaica. He started his career at a very young age. His first hit song was called Happy, released when he was only seven years old. He was commonly called the Jamaican Michael Jackson. Now, not many child stars become adult stars. But Junior Tucker did and gave us countless hits. So that's why we at Reggae Dance All Vault Pierce tribute to this great artist. So massive, just follow me down memory lane, a day of celebration. I could start out with Junior Tucker at 12 years old, performing a Jackson 5 cover. Enjoy yourself at the Bob Marley One Love Peace concert in 1978. <laughs> Man, a young junior Tucker, full of energy and thing, the Jamaican Michael Jackson. Alright, we'll go over Sting 1993, where Junior Tucker performed a song called Give It Up, released in 1993 and produced by Bobby Digital from the Digital B label. <laughs> So give it up, you can't give up in the 
Yeah, man, big throne, big, big throne. Snag up, us, big up yourself. All right, we're going to move on to one of Junior Tucker's biggest song, a song called Love of a Lifetime, released in 1993. Pan the pick up the pieces rhythm and produced by Steely and Cleavy. <laughs> Number one tune. How am to them? All right, we are gonna move on, you know, and we are move on to a song called "16 Into the Night," released in 1990 and produced by Andel Tucker.
trouble And I can't take the trouble Right now, man, I care why you're in love I want to share Time, take time, no singer. But watch the age group here. All right, we come to a song called Don't Test. This song was released in 1990 and produced by Andel Tucker. But make Junior Tucker tell me how this song came about. You mentioned Handel Tucker. So what role did he play now in your life to get you on your feet? Yeah, I was, I was just doing top 40 stuff, anything that was popular. Any Michael Jackson song that was out, I would do that and I'd... You know, I was earning a little, you know, money to make, get, keep going. But Handel kept challenging me and saying, you need to speak your, I need to hear your voice. What is, what is going to be your legacy? And I remember him playing this rhythm. You know, we had rented this, this place, our friend's house, and we had set up our instruments in there, and we were just writing. Every day we get up and we just write and write and write. And he's playing this rhythm, and it's coming through the floor. And I'm upstairs in the room, and I hear, boom, 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 boom. And I'm sitting there and he's singing this song to me, which is like a, more like a social song. And I'm like, that's not what I really want to say. So I left him and went upstairs and, and I just started to get angry. And in my mind, I was like, no, I'm, I'm here to make a statement. So I was like, in my mind, I started to picture like Barrington Levy. I started to picture Barris Hammond. I started to picture Freddie McGregor. All of the guys who were, you know, on top, you know. And I was like, all right, so if you know that you haven't been to the school and you're not familiar with the rules, don't test, you know? And I'm listening to the rhythm. And a crowd of people know that I'm the dawn of the town. When I'm in the area, I don't mess around. I don't waste time to dust all clowns, so don't, don't test. So I even <laughs> took a little bit from um, Barrington Levy, because I take off the S off a super Manchester. No? <laughs> that was just me saying to them, listen, you know, I, I come from my space, so move And you're here. And we are here. <laughs> Don't you ever come a 
All the girls are from my life is part with you. Them quarrel and fight if I'm not them get you. But don't, don't even try to figure me out. Don't you ever mm-hmm. come and try this? Some material things to take from you Then they roam the town and say they're your crew But I don't have to let off like you do So don't, don't even test. try to figure me out Don't you ever come and try this Don't test <laughs> Come on! Everyone around you know that I am the best Cause I took off the S off a of Superman Don't even try to figure me out Don't you ever come and try this If you wanna come and try your thing with me I also took off the B off of Batman Don't even try to figure me out Don't you ever come and try this Yeah man, another big hit song Alright, we are keep it moving And we are go back over Sting 1993 With a song called Under My Skin Released in 1992 from the Rockfort Rhythm and produced by Steely and Cleavy. Oh baby, you're such a teaser. No mercy. I put up, got you in my corner. Light up. So why you make me work so hard? Because you know you wanted a sad dance me, but you're acting kind of shy. Uh, there's no escaping. Show your feeling. I don't know hear nothing yet, you know. Remember, me don't tell them say a countless number of hit songs you have in you know, Mr. Tucker. So watch this. We are going to move on to a song called Don't Touch My Baby, released in 1993 from the Sling Thing Rhythm and produced by Danny Brownie from the Main Street label. This is the morning, 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 morning. Take away the clothes, but don't you touch my baby? Hey, gosh, I take away the 
away the money and take away the clothes, but don't you touch my baby. And you can keep the stereo, take the video and don't you touch my baby. And don't forget the upper show and keep the video, but don't you touch my baby. Neither it sang out of the catalog, but we're gonna keep it moving, you know. And this next song is called Remember the Love, released in 1993 on the Far East Rhythm and produced by Bobby Digital on the Digital B label. Again, yeah, man. Yo, as I said before, Massive is a celebration, you know, and the vibes nice. Me day, I enjoy myself. All right, we forgot to keep it moving, you know. So, the next song is called Body I Want, released in 1993 and produced by Steely and Cleavy. Here we go Singer, you have too much big throne, but let me give them one more. 
All right, this next song is called Big Chat, released in 1997 upon the Lecture Rhythm and produced by Bobby Digital upon the Digital B label. A little girl with the big chat Not you the crush on one spread How are you for say that? Okay You think me when you like a mouse But me strong like an iron When a girl turn on me iron If you ever make me drop in the weapon You wouldn't last a minute or a second When you like a mouse But strong like an iron When a girl turn on me iron If you ever make me drop in the weapon a minute or a second What is the reason for thinking That you can overthrow a man like me A girl you may be bad That's true But we'll just have to wait and see Cause if I get a chance to reward you I pressure that to even when you cry surrender So if you're for real and not just mouth Then when your actions prove it now You think me quiet like a mouse But I'm strong like a lion a girl turn on me iron If you ever make me drop in my weapon You wouldn't last a minute or a second Why you like a mouse but strong like a lion When a girl turn on me iron If you ever make me drop in my weapon You wouldn't last a minute or a second But tell me the time and name the place Cause this jockey don't back from no race Don't put it off, don't break the date to someone else Take your place So you think that I'm an easy push over I like you wanna rule me under the cover Well it's you and me And tonight we'll see Who's the ruler of ecstasy So quiet you like a most But strong like a lion When a girl turn on me iron If you ever make me drop in the weapon You wouldn't last a minute or a second Why you like a most But strong like a lion When a girl turn on me if you ever make me drop in my weapon You wouldn't last a minute or a second, no I make a girl with the big chat But you your crush on one strat How oh, you be said that? Cause one bang a check, girl, I'm not impressed I think it's time that we work up a sweat Let's get it on, let's separate Tonight, who's master and who's slave? But you find a little one over. You think you wanna test a big buffalo soldier? So it's you and me, and tonight we'll see who's the ruler of ecstasy. So quiet like a mouse, but strong like a lion. When a girl turn on me, I yell. If you ever make me drop in the weapon, you wouldn't last a minute or a second. Quiet like a mouse, but strong like a lion. When a girl turn on me, I yell. If you ever make me drop in the weapon, you wouldn't last a minute or a second, no. I lick a girl with the big chat. Whoa, gosh, I chew your crush on one scrap. You act like you didn't know. Say that we run the show. Oh, gosh. Okay. You think me when you like a mouse, but strong like a lion. All right, you know, so I may have show you know, a pure big tune, you know. But here we go on now. We're going to listen back some young junior talker, you know. So we are move on to a song called Take a Message, released in 1980. <laughs>
we are continue with some more young junior talk, you know. Alright, this next song is called Look Into Your Heart, released in 1977 on the top ranking label. Sing our body, man. All right, more young junior took a phone. This next song is called Happiness, released in 1978 from the top ranking label as well.
Well, all right, more for more, you know. So this next song is called Book of Love, released in 1980, written by Junior Marvin and produced by Tommy Cowan from the 56 Oak Road label. Yeah, man, we'd have to play that one there to its entirety. You see what I say? Nice song, nice song. All right, this next song we're moving on to is called Too Young to Fall in Love, released in 1983.
Never too young here, sir. Now let them tell you nothing. You see me? Alright. Junior Tucker did a cover version of New Edition's Mr. Telephone Man, released in 1983. <laughs> deal that song you me singer because we love the original you know but we love that one you more you see me all right this next song is called falling in love with you produced by junior Tucker himself this is the rockers this is the rockers ladies and gentlemen will you see me once will you see me again after tonight let's be more than just friends Kiss me 
again Cause after tonight Let's try to make this begin Cause I I'm falling in love with you Say baby I I'm falling in love with you Ooh yeah baby cause I After tonight, let's try to make this begin Nice, nice. All right, watch this now. Junior Tucker was a very successful artist, but then decides to turn to Christianity. So, I could listen to an interview where Junior Tucker explained what caused this change in his life. Second best decision of my life. And the first best decision? Giving my life to the Lord. What prompted that? That now, you see, even though now Junior Tucker was doing well in terms of the career and the name, there was the home now and the life where I'm really from, people don't, most, a lot of people don't know this, but I'm really from a very troubling home life where born and raised in Trenchtown, we moved to Maxwell Avenue and people would see me and go, oh, this is popular, da, 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 da. it was good. But we were, I, I, there was a lot of abuse in the home, a very bad relationship between my mother and father bad relationships with my siblings in terms of things that would happen in the house. And we were from a home where there were several people who lived in the home, several different family members. And my father, at a time in his life, was not good in terms of handling the, the alcohol abuse. And so there were things that happened in the home that even to this day we're still processing that was very disturbing to me. And um, bringing forward now to 1997, I was married to Trudy, my father, um, we, it was, I discovered that he was one of the abusers or one of the people who did some, some terrible things to my mother and to you know, members of my family. And um, that shook me. I didn't speak to him for about six years. And um, I got a call that he was in the hospital and I needed to come see him. And in my mind, I was like, okay, this is the last I'm going to see him. Because it, it wasn't a good report. They were telling me, it doesn't look good. His kidneys are failing. And um, so I said, okay, this is my last ch chance to take a shot at him and let him know how I feel. And he's not going to go without me telling him off. I went to see him and he looked at me, long story short, and started talking to me about God. And um, during that time, for the six years of not seeing him, I was struggling really badly with nightmares. I would go to psychologists, I would go to people for counseling and it wouldn't help. People were even praying for me. I remember one time going for, and people laying hands on me and praying. Um, and and um, I just, it just nothing would, nothing would break. I would be afraid to sleep. I would struggle, you know, with those kind of things and nothing would help me. And I remember going to see him and him talking to me about God. That was my first time seeing him, seeing him in six years, and that was the last time I saw him. And um, um, I heard a voice say to me, what if he goes to heaven and you don't? Because he has settled his life with me. Because the funny thing is, he kept talking to me. And one of the main, i never forget this sentence, he said to me, son, I'm going to go check this place called heaven. And he said to me, make sure you do. 
And um, that was the last time I saw him. And the next phone call I got was that he had passed. And um, I was just left with this question of checking this place called Heaven. And you decided to check it out? And I decided to check it out. I had to. And you're very happy that you made the decisions that you've made. I, I, like Carleen Davis said, I wish I knew then what I know now. I would have done it much earlier. Pull up, pull up. Yes, Mr. Tucker, you still have it from a child star and still going on and on. But yeah, man, massive, that brings us to the end of another tribute to the greats celebrating the music of Junior Tucker. I hope everybody enjoyed this, you know, because me definitely did enjoy myself. I don't know it go already in a massive. I forgot to go back in the vault. <laughs>